Hello, welcome to this special edition of The Creative Quarantine, born out of necessity and fueled by imagination. And today, with my little buddy here, we are going to be dyeing eggs naturally uh, versus using one of those store-bought kits. Uh, so this was something that uh, we did as a family over the weekend, and we've had so much interest in this that we thought that we'd do a quick highlights for you. This does take a little bit of time, so we wanted to get this out as soon as possible so that way you'd be able to try it in time for Easter. Uh, some of the best colors we got were using green tea and uh, purple cabbage. Uh, so we went ahead and heated up water and put two tea bags in there so that way it could start to uh, steep. And we wanted to make sure that the water could cool down enough before we put the eggs in because we've already hard boiled our eggs and uh, we don't want them to cook anymore. Um, we will also be using white eggs. Uh, we did this experiment with both white and brown eggs. Uh, where white shows the color much, much better. Uh, we did get some interesting results using uh, the, the brown eggs. All right, so we went through with the cabbage and we took about four to six leaves. Uh, we put them in water and boiled them down. Uh, it was on there roughly maybe 15, 20 minutes. We weren't paying to the t uh, t as much attention to the time uh, as much as we were to the water and the color that was seeping out of those leaves. So now we're going to take this, and this has also been cooling a little bit, and... All right. So now we just want the water in there. All right, so as my assistant has just pointed out, I probably have too much in here, so when we put the eggs, it could spill over. All right, but that is just where you keep enough paper towels on hand to mop that up. All right, are you ready, buddy? All right. So, remember how we put those in? have to hold the egg too. And gently let it down. Perfect. So yep, we're gonna spill over just a little bit. So we're gonna dump a little bit out. Yep. So there's one more. All right, so we will now Put a lid on that, and we're gonna put that off to the side. All right, so now we're gonna rinse off our spoon real quick. Dry it off a little bit, just because we don't wanna color our tea water. And We're going to give that a moment just because it is a little bit too warm yet. All right, I think this has cooled down enough. All right. My trusty assistant here. Okay, hold on to the egg. All right. And that's all right. And go ahead. Wipe your hand off. I'll take this. And, All right. And like you, you, you should see if you get messy, that's okay. Yep, and if you get messy, that's okay. You just got to clean it up. All right, we're going to put lids on these. And uh, because it takes a while when you're doing the natural style to, for the color to soak in, uh, we're going to put these in the fridge. And uh, we will see you tomorrow to see what we get. Bye. Bye. All right, and we are back. So we have our jars with the dyed eggs in them. They've been in there for a little over 24 hours or so. And uh, I know I'm ready to find out what we got. Are you ready to find out what we got? Yes. All right, so what what, um, what did we dye this eggy with? Green tea. Green tea, very good. Can you get the lid? Oh. 
Oh, way to go, muscles. All right, so when we put those together and we take out the tea bags, hold on just a minute. We're gonna let that drip just a touch more. There we go. We'll set that to the side and, ooh, what did we get? Yellow egg. Very good. All right, so we will dry that off just a little bit and we will get good pictures of those for them in just a moment. We'll set all that off to the side. And now, go ahead and wipe your hands off, clean them off. All right, so what is this again? What did we dye it with? Um. Purple cabbage. Very good. All right, so can you get that lid off? Ooh, way to go. All right, so we'll get, hold on just a moment. We'll get that off to the side. And, oops. That's still okay. Yep, what color did we get? A robin's egg blue. Yeah, that's a beautiful robin's egg blue color. All right, so when we did this, we turned it into a game. And what did you do? I named the colors. Did you guess what we would try to get? Mm -hmm. All right. So, like this sheet here, we went through and we did some with beets, purple cabbage, red onion, yellow onion, parsley and spinach, turmeric, blueberries, grape juice, uh, and then of course green tea. Uh, one that we didn't do because we did it with brown eggs also uh, was coffee because coffee is going to turn your white egg brown. But uh, we had fun. Hopefully you'll enjoy this and get to do it with your family. And um, please share them with us on our Facebook page. And have a good Easter. Have a good Easter. <laughs>